my very, very great privilege today to stand before you at this Uganda Deep Tech Summit. Uh, this is a gathering that reflects our shared dedication to advancing technology and innovation, not only in Uganda, but on the continent. In order for us to be part of this, we have anchored our passion and our commitment for tech development into our economic ambitions. The expectation is that the strategies that we're going to come up with over the next few days is going to be all encompassing, covering as much ground as possible and be as relevant as possible so that we're able to move, not just for the benefit of Uganda, but for the benefit of Africa. As a Bureau, we believe that by creating self-sustaining ecosystem that focus on commercializing science and technology, we will be able to achieve the desired development. But this will be achieved by developing the right human capital, the right policies, the right investment environment, and the right infrastructure. Why not African scientists? Why not Africa building this wonderful story of humanity and science? We have to be part of it because it is the only way to create, invent and solve. And honestly, there is absolutely no reason why it's not possible. In order to build that enduring community and reap the benefits of a long-term thriving ecosystem, don't be afraid to develop your network today. It's not all business at the tables. We need to get to know each other. We need to learn about each other. We need to build that community. The government can initially put seed funding in technology startups, in the tech, to like enable and foster that set of innovations going forward. In order really to accompany and to coach, I mean, this, uh, this startup to be able really to reach the uh, investment phase. Infrastructure, yes, but mostly academic uh, institutions to, again, double down on the talent development because you have no deep tech if you have no talent. To take this position, take the lead, they needed to accelerate transformation, look into other markets, and the only way to do it was basically to externalize the R&D and start looking on what universities were doing, what entrepreneurs were doing, what was actually uh, deep tech bringing into the table. Uh, start funding these companies, get into a point where they are highly attractive and then other capital starts coming in as well. But it basically required all 26 universities to set up a TTO and certain ways to run those things and it also set up the National Intellectual Property Management Organization to try to help govern how we manage the assets of IP that are being created with the public's money. Let us unite in our efforts to unlock the full potential of deep tech and build a prosperous, innovative future for this beautiful little nation. <laughs>